Welcome. In this short video, we're going to learn how to download and install Roots Magic for the Mac. Now, this is going to work for both the full Roots Magic program and the free Roots Magic Essentials. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a browser and I'm going to go to rootsmagic.com slash download. That doesn't matter which browser you're using. When you get to this page on our site, you'll have the option to download either the full Roots Magic program. That's the one you want if you've ordered the program and have that registration key to unlock it. Or you can download the free Roots Magic Essentials. That one's good if you want to just try out the program or just need a lighter weight program that doesn't cost anything. So I'm going to go ahead and click on download here. And you get the option here to download either the Windows version of Roots Magic or the Mac version of Roots Magic. And I'm going to go ahead and choose the Mac version to begin downloading the installer. Now, when you order Roots Magic, you actually are entitled to use both the Windows and the Mac version. Uh, the, the program is, li is licensed to your household, so you can install it on the computers within your own home, within your own household. Um, if you happen to have a Windows computer and a Mac computer both, you can use that same registration key on both of those computers. Just download either the Windows version or the Mac version. Now, as you're downloading uh, in Safari, your progress is going to be shown down here. If I happen to be using Chrome, for example, the download progress would be shown in a bar at the bottom of the, the Chrome browser. So the download is finished. I don't need the browser open anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and close that. And I'm going to click on my downloads, and I'm going to select the one, that file I just downloaded, rootsmagic7mac.dmg. I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and that's going to open up the installer file that I just downloaded, and it's going to give me the option to install it. And basically, to install the program, all I do is drag the program, click with my mouse, and drag it to this little Applications folder. Now, this might take a little while because it's copying that entire application from the installer over into the uh, Applications folder in Finder. So you'll, you'll be able to see the, the progress right here. Now, once this is done, once it's finished copying that the program into Applications, you'll want to get rid of this mounted, this mounted drive is what they call it. You want to get rid of it. It's just the installer and you don't really need that anymore. Um, so once this finishes copying that file over into applications, we'll show you how to get rid of how to get rid of that mounted folder right there. So just wait about 10 seconds, it says five seconds. You can also actually close this little window right here. If it's still sitting open, you can close that as well. OK, so it's finished copying it. And if I go down and scroll down here, you'll see that I have Roots Magic is now in Finder. So as I mentioned, to get rid of this, I just select it and then I right click on that to bring up the little context menu and just select Eject Roots Magic. And that gets rid of that little installer drive. OK, so now I have Roots Magic installed. It's in my Finder. So anytime I want to run it, I just go to Finder, scroll, go into Applications, Find Roots Magic, and double click on Roots Magic and it will start. You'll see it bounce. Now the first time you run it, one of two things may happen. This is one of them where it says Roots Magic's an application that you downloaded. Are you sure you want to open it? And in this case, I'm going to say yes, I want to open it. On the other hand, your Mac might be set up to only allow it to run files uh, that came from the actual Mac App Store. If that's the case, when you try to run it, you'll get a message that won't even have an open button. It'll just say you can't open it because it didn't come from a Mac store. If you get that message, what you'll want to do is right click on Roots Magic here and from the little context menu, select open. And when you select open uh, from that context menu, it will give you this screen with the option to open it. So. 
depending on which message you see, you'll want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and I click on open and it's opening the program and it's going to, the first time it runs, it might take a little bit because it's, you know, kind of, kind of setting up, setting a few things up. And once it ver it starts, and let me close the finder behind it so that this is more clear. The first screen you're going to see is going to be a welcome screen, and it's going to ask you, uh, do you do you have a registration key? Do you want to use it as a full registered version, or do you just want to use the free version, the Roots Magic Essentials? I'm going to go ahead and choose the full registered version, and it's going to come up, and it's going to ask me to enter my name and my registration key. And so I'm going to go ahead and put my registration key in there and I'm going to choose unlock. When I choose unlock, it's then going to ask me to register. Um, if you ordered directly from us, you can just choose register later because you will have already been registered. If you ordered Roots Magic in a store or at a conference or something, you'll want to register so that so that if you ever lose that registration key, you can just contact us and get it back. So I'm going to go ahead and select register later and there we are. We are now in Roots Magic. And so at this point, I can then go in and, and create my file, import, do whatever I want. I'm actually running Roots Magic right here on my Mac. Um, one last little trick. Um, if you want this little shortcut to remain on your, on your taskbar down here, what you can do is right click on it and then come up here to options and choose the option keep in dock. And when you do that, that will allow that to stay on the dock. Okay, and so I can just I can hop out of here. I can hop out of Roots Magic, and that's all there is to it. I have now installed Roots Magic and have the start button right there on my dock. So I'm ready to go anytime. And that's all there is to installing Roots Magic on your Mac.